Yeah, uh, my name is Richard Lübenstein. Um, I live in uh, close to close to the city of Munich in Germany, Bavaria. And um, first of all, thanks for for having me. Um, and uh, let let me talk about uh, yeah my my work in the retro uh, area. So I, I used to be um, uh, I used to be editor of Amiga Joker magazine in Germany in the nineties, and that's how I. Um, that, that uh, you know, that's that's how I got connected to the games, uh, the games world, and I still, I'm, I'm still feeling very connected. And I, I also used to develop games in the 80s for Commodore 64 games like North Sea Inferno and um, Twinkie Ghost Hiking and a couple of others. Um, I had an I, obviously as editor of Amiga Talk, I had a couple of Amiga. Um, computers at home, but I never was able to really um, publish uh, and um, uh, develop and publish a, a, an Amiga game. And that's why I um, yeah, kind of restarted uh, Amiga development in 2015. And that's how uh, the first game reshoot came to be, which was published in 2016. And uh, the second game, Reshooter, uh, which is basically made because um, I had so many lessons learned for, for reshoot. And uh, that was published in uh, May 2019. And I'm currently working on reshoot Proxima 3. As you are asking for my favorite game, wow. Um, I would probably mention Silkworm. Um, uh, better than arcade conversion of the arcade game. Um, I have to mention Shadow of the Beast 3 because um, it's one of the few examples of uh, games on the Amiga which are good in a technical way, but also in a, which also features interesting gameplay mechanics. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not a soul developer, actually. Um, I've teamed up with um, well, I, I would say that the, the, the main team consists of three guys. So um, I need to mention uh, Kevin Saunders, who is um, responsible for uh, most of the pixel art. Uh, I also I, I, I work with him uh, already on, on Reshooter, and we reestablished that connection for, for Reshoot Proxima 3. Um, and we have Martin Arman. Um, he's responsible for uh, yeah everything connected to the music, and he's doing a lot of music for 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 Visual Proxima 3. We've got like twice the amount of music, basically two uh, tracks for each stage of the game. We've got like five stages, two tracks per stage, one in-game music track and one boss track. So um, yeah, he's yeah, but, but we are finished with the music, so um, that's he's he's uh, out of the project already, kind of. And last but least myself, I'm I would consider myself the project lead. So um, I'm I'm the one who yeah um, knows about every aspect uh, of, of the project. I'm I'm designing the game, I'm coding the game, I'm yeah providing kind of art direction. So which colors to use in which stages, what kind of how do hostile how do hostiles look like? How does the landscape look like? How is the landscape created? Stuff like that. So that's that's uh, that's my responsibility. Also, I'm um, producing the game, which basically means I'm taking care of um, yeah scheduling uh, tasks. Uh, also taking care of you know creating uh, booklets. Uh, physical copies will be available, so I'm um, uh, yeah taking care of that uh, of, of the CD ROMs that I created, uh, stuff like that. That's that's part of the yeah producing uh, publishing process that I'm also uh, okay. managing. Mm -hmm. the, the the very obvious difference is that uh, it's 
is the, is the vertical orientation. So you're playing a vertical shooter this time, vertical shoot him up. And also it's got a lot of, it's got so much more detail. You've got attack waves, which are much more complex than even in reshooter, which already had some, some kind of complex attack waves. And, um, also, yeah, reshooter was, um, criticized for having only one in-game soundtrack. Uh, or one in-game track, whereas now we have like one music track per stage. The plan is most definitely not to develop another shoot em up game from here because I've done like three. <laughs> and um, I don't think there's much more uh, that I would want to create. Maybe it could happen that I'm doing like, like that I would re revisit reshooter because um, there are a couple of uh, details that I would change if I would develop the game right now. For example, the spaceship itself doesn't. Look like uh, like a spaceship. <laughs> I would change that, and also I learned a couple of um, lessons uh, related to you know technical um, implementation and also in gameplay mechanics that I would fit into reshooter to make it a better game. But um, for uh, for this year for for twenty three, um, I will focus on. Um, on another games related project, which is also retro, but not on a retro platform. So, um, there's a, there's going to be a game developed for a uh, recent hardware. And that's, that's my focus for 23 after releasing proxy. Okay. I'm also thinking about, um, yeah, porting the game to Mega Drive, but that's, you know, that's, that's something which is going to happen in five years or something. So that's not something I want to talk about right now. I'm sending a big thank you to, to all, uh, all people who uh, enjoy, uh, retro gaming. And I'm, you know, uh, the, the, one of the main reasons why I'm actually developing retro games on a retro platform is that it's so great to meet up with uh, the community, um, and discuss uh, games like, yeah, reshoot and obviously in my case, but also uh, other projects, um, with, uh, developers who uh, share the same interests, but also with people playing games. And one of the, you know, one of the most satisfying moments, um, last year actually was when I, when I had the opportunity to show, um, Proxima 3, uh, at a couple of, uh, gaming events, Amiga 37 or Level Up and Salzburg, you know, events like that. And meeting up with people in real life, having a look at how they play my game <laughs> and um, discussing uh, the game with them, that's so enjoyable and that's one of the main reasons why, um, yeah, I'm, I'm here, why we are actually talking about <laughs> Proxima Spina. So thank you for to the community um, for, uh, yeah, being there and playing games. Danke, danke schön. Danke <laughs> <Gerne>. schön. <laughs>